Hello and welcome to Home and Away episode 2 where I am in Edinburgh as I thought you might call it Edinburgh but I'm a Glaswegian so I'm going to call it Edinburgh Today it is Hibs vs Hearts We have the Edinburgh Derby today It's going to be an absolute cracker Sold out I've just landed in Edinburgh Waverley Let's go So currently we have a 20 minute walk to the stadium, it is at Easter Road, if you don't know where Easter Road is, here it is now. So tonight we have a 5th versus 3rd clash, Hearts are actually 12 points ahead of Hibs who are in 5th place, Hearts are in 3rd and Hibs don't look to be on the greatest of form at the moment. Um, by being 12 points behind Hearts, it's going to be a must win for Hibs, definitely. Uh, Hearts are just off of a 2-0 win at the weekend against at home to Motherwell. And then you've got Hibs, who slipped up, get beat 3-2 against Livingston at home. So, all to play for tonight. With a 12-point gap comes a need for a win tonight. Must win for Sean Maloney, the new Hibs manager. Um, it's his first Edinburgh Derby in charge. The game is a sellout, so I think it's the first sellout in a good few years anyway. Second sellout in over ten years, so it's going to be a massive match for Hibs tonight. Um, as for Hearts, they are currently in a race, so it should be a great game. Absolutely buzzing for it. Uh, the atmosphere is going to be rocking. Let's hope that Hibs can get a win. As I'm in the Hibs in tonight.
How are we doing guys? It is the next day after last night's incredible derby. Yes, wasn't that incredible? Finished 0-0. Uh, unexpectedly, the Dundee derby also finished 0-0, so at least I didn't travel up there. But, as we've done in the last video, I'm going to do the exact same again. I'm going to do a review of the Hibs v Hearts Edinburgh derby. So, the five factors that I am going to be talking through are football, price, atmosphere, and food. That's not five, is it? Facilities as well, that's five. There, yeah, we got there in the end there. Right, so starting off, I'm going to start with football. So in terms of football, this is a new category I'm bringing in from the last one. So football is going to be the performance levels, the quality on the pitch. Last night wasn't at it. It really wasn't there. Um, there was a lot of bad challenges going in, a lot of missed chances. The game shouldn't have been a nil-nil, to be honest with you. I think you've seen the chance at the end of the video there, if you've just watched it. Uh, yeah, it was. A, I'll give it a 6 out of 10, because too many chances squandered shouldn't have been a nil-nil with what was at stake for both teams. Hearts could have levelled up and ended up putting their third, third spot, basically giving, giving it a concrete... Um, position uh, Hearts could have flew away from Motherwell and Hibs Hibs could have got herself back in the race got herself back in with a chance of maybe catching up on Hearts but no, wasn't to be and it was it was always going to be a nil nil after the chances that were missed so the next category I'm going to put in is price so for my ticket last night it was on paper £16 ok so £16 for this ticket Incredible pricing. When you go onto the Hibs match day hub to get, like, obviously the, the, the online ticketing scheme, first of all, e ticketing wasn't working, so I had to go and collect the ticket. Second of all, when I ordered the ticket, there was a nine, yes, nine pounds fee to order this ticket, so it actually wasn't at 16 pounds. It ended up coming to, well, what's nine plus 16? That's 25 pounds. Um, maths isn't really my strong point as you can tell so in terms of that £25 obviously ups it £16 incredible because I'm a student shouldn't take it as well for £25 plus £5 for the Pine Bovril Pine Bovril £5 I'd probably say that's about the usual price of paying I think that's alright um, £30 all round to get food and to get into a derby game remember this is a Hibs Hearts derby game sell out crowd Everybody's really up for it. So in terms of that, I would probably give that a 7.5 out of 10. So the third category I'm going to talk to you about is atmosphere. So in terms of atmosphere, sellout crowd, Hibs v Hearts Derby, first time at Easter Road against Hearts for over two years. So it was always going to be a major, major um, build up to this game. As soon as I landed in Edinburgh from Waverley, yeah, you could feel it straight away. Um, fans coming off the train, even on the train, you could hear fans singing and stuff. Um, and then walking up to the ground, major police presence. That's what you want. And it, it, it sounds bad, that's what you want. But you know something something is going on if there's a major police presence, there's a large event. Um, Hearts fans obviously doing their thing, singing their song. Hibs fans back and forth, walking to the ground. Uh, outside the ground, bagpipes and stuff. Brilliant from Hibs doing that. That really got the place buzzing. Got into the stadium, and yeah, you could just feel it straight away. You could really just feel it straight away getting into the ground. Um, and it just started to build as kickoff was coming. Yeah, and then to, to top it off, uh, Section 7. I'd like to take my hat off to Section 7 because they've been getting a lot of stick recently. Um, obviously, it's not the group name that they have had before, and that's obviously um, that's another topic, but... Starting off afresh, starting from a different section instead of in the Famous Five, I thought they were incredible. They had the display all set out last night, that went to plan brilliantly. Um, and then you had, they, they just didn't stop all game to be honest with you, the place was bouncing at times. And yeah, so well done to Section 7 and don't stop there if you're part of them anyway. Um, in terms of the crowd, but it was supposed to be a sellout crowd. And I seen big patches in the stadium, so that's nothing to do with crowd. I think it has to do with Hibs ticketing, um, and yeah, Hibs. I think you do need to sort out your ticketing because it's really not the greatest at the moment. So, yeah, I'm going to give atmosphere 
a 7.5 out of 10. Right, second last, I'm going to talk to you about food. So, as you've seen, eh, I got a pie and bovril, and you turn up to a game, you get a pie, you get a bovril. You think, same taste, same bovril. No. Last night is one of the best pies I've ever had in my life. The pie was incredible. So, the crust, if, if you're a pie connoisseur, football pie connoisseur, you'll know what I'm talking about. The crust needs to be crispy, but not overcooked. And the inside obviously has to be mutton meat for a scotch pie. Um, the crust was thin and I thought it was burnt at first. It did look overcooked at, th at first, but it was cooked to perfection. The crust was thin and it just like snap. It was snappable, but it was beautiful. And then there was thick filling inside. You see in the video, um, if you skip back, incredible. Um, but what I didn't like was the fact that my bovril was all stuck to the bottom and I didn't have any stirrers to mix that through. We'll go into facilities in a wee bit and that will talk about it. But there wasn't any condiments tables for me to be able to stir my bovril. So when I got to the end, it was a bit of a shambles because I had a big mouthful of bovril and it was just pure salt. So that kind of annoyed me, but I'm not taking anything away for the pie. I'm giving food an 8 out of 10. So, last but not least, we are moving on to facilities. So, as we all know, Hibs' stadium is not the newest in the league. Obviously, it's nowhere near it, but Hibs definitely keep their stadium up to scratch. I think it's, it is modern, to be honest with you. I didn't see any problems with it last night. Every time I've been to Easter Road before, I thought it, it's been spot on. Hibs have actually upgraded their stadium as well recently. New seats in the ground. Um, they've got two new screens that are in the corners. They didn't used to be in the corners before the two new screens. And they've also got screens in the east stand as well for the fans in the east stand. So I think they're starting to upgrade and they're putting money into the stadium. The pitch pitch was alright, um, facilities-wise. The only thing was that the downfall was, as I just spoke about the food, was the condiments table. No condiments table, no sauce for my pie. No salt, no sugar, blah, 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 if I get a cup of tea, etc. So that did annoy me, but hey-ho, you can't get everything. Well, that is all from me today, folks. Thank you very much for paying attention. Um, I really do hope you enjoyed the video. If you can do me a massive favour, before I ask you to subscribe, do me a favour. If you think there's anything I can do to improve my videos, please comment down below and tell me. Because the only way I can improve is if you guys tell me how to. As I just said, there's only one way you can help me out, and that's by clicking that sub subscription button. The more subscribers I get, the more help I get, and the bigger and better videos I can do. Thank you very much. I'm going to be going on another Derby Day adventure next week. Keep an eye on my Twitter, or the BSR Sports 20 Twitter. Links will be down below to find out where that will be. But, until then, it's a goodbye from me.